Hi, Micro Punter here, and uh, today we're going to do a fun little project. I've got a bottle of shaving foam here, and uh, yeah, um, and this shaving foam uh, contains many, many, many small microscopic bubbles. And what I'm going to do today is I'm not just going to put it on my face right now, <laughs> but I'm going to put it under the microscope. And then what I would like to know is how many bubbles, how many foam bubbles are there in a bottle of shaving foam like this? Okay, it is possible to estimate this, um, but uh, that's a little bit tricky because we have to measure out the size of one bubble and the microscope will help me. Stay tuned. So shaving foam is a really nice uh, and simple specimen to observe and what beginners usually do is they take some kind of a dish, a uh, glass dish, and take the shaving foam, they fill it up with uh, shaving foam like this, um, they take a slide and then somehow using uh, tweezers they try to transfer some of the shaving foam um, on the slide, then they take a second pair of tweezers, the cover glass and they put the cover glass on top of it okay then they try to position the cover glass then they take uh, I don't know maybe some scissors and they try to press the cover glass on the foam like this and this is way too complicated but if you really want to be cool and if you want to really give a very professional appearance okay then you of course you don't want to use these tools all you do is the following you grab a little bit of foam you put it on the slide and you put the cover glass on it like this and you'll be fine. And then of course everything goes under the microscope. Yes, well I do see um, a lot of bubbles uh, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to my larger microscope so that I can also show you what I see. Well, let's focus a little bit and that is foam under the microscope. Notice there is a small scale bar on the bottom uh, left. Okay, so you can see that the larger foam bubbles have a size of approximately 0 0.1 millimeters. And that's time lapse right now. Well, um, I do think uh, that the foam is a little bit too thick. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press uh, on the cover glass. Yeah, so that is now compressed foam. Uh, you see that some of the bubbles are now a little bit larger because uh, I pressed them apart. Um, and uh, that's now one single layer, one layer of foam. And again, a little bit of time lapse. Well, um, this was quite nice, but I think uh, there is a way how I can top that. What I would like to do is, is I would like to uh, view all of those uh, foam bubbles in dark field. So I have to put in the dark field patch stop into my filter holder because this will show the bubbles very nice uh, on dark background. Yeah, this foam again is a little bit uh, thicker. Um, you can see that uh, the bubbles are collapsing and uh, that's uh, quite uh, an interesting thing to see how the foam bubbles are white uh, on black background. Okay, well, let's uh, switch now to a higher magnification and let's have a look at it uh, using my 10 times magnifying objective. And I think I'm just not gonna say anything right now. I'm just gonna let you enjoy collapsing foam. Well, uh, this was all very nice, uh, but uh, I don't know, um, I, I, the foam collapsing, uh, this is a little bit too slow for me, so I want to see a little bit more action. So what I want to do now is I want to add some blue ink, uh, maybe um, I can uh, see a little bit how the ink and the foam, how they interact with each other. I've never tried this before, so I'll give it a try.
And because this was so soothing and so calming, let's just watch everything again in reverse. Okay, now let's uh, determine the number uh, of foam bubbles in a can um, of foam. And in order to do this, uh, we have to know the total volume of, of foam uh, in this uh, bottle. Now, um, there are two ways how you could do that. I could uh, simply press um, on the foam release uh, here and then measure the total amount of volume. But that is a little bit difficult. So what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to do this indirectly over the mass uh, of, the, uh, of the foam um, because it's simply easier. So I'm going to uh, measure the total mass of the foam by subtracting the mass of the full bottle minus the mass of the empty bottle. Then I will determine the density of the foam and with a little bit of math I know the total uh, volume of foam. Um, so what I have to do uh, first is I have to uh, yeah, uh, weigh the, uh, the, the can first, um, it's full, then I have to weigh it when it's empty and uh, then I also have to weigh um, how much uh, foam there is in let's say 250 mils, uh, milliliters uh, um, yeah, um, of volume, that's a, a, a drinking glass, um, and then I can determine the total volume of foam. And uh, let's, uh, let's do this first. Well, the full can of foam has a mass of 339 grams and uh, now I am uh, me determining the density um, of foam. So I'm filling up a glass uh, with uh, 250 milliliters of foam and I found out that uh, this has around 15 grams. Uh, so with uh, the density and the total foam mass, I can determine the volume later on. So I'm just gonna scoop away the excess. Yeah, and now I have to um, empty uh, the foam can. So that's, uh, yeah, that's quite, quite something right now. It uh, actually shows you how much uh, foam there is in one can. A little bit of time lapse again, because otherwise we have to wait too long. Yeah, now basically the can is pretty much empty. That's a lot of foam. Okay, the empty can, 70 grams. Are you ready for the fastest math lesson in your life? Well, watch and see. So let's first uh, calculate uh, the mass uh, of the foam. We have to subtract the mass of the foam. So that's four and a half million cubic millimeters. So that's step one. So now let's uh, calculate the total number of bubbles. Uh, we have here of bubbles. So that's the volume of the oil. So now how much is the volume of the oil? And then I get the result. Okay, I'm all excited. I hope you are too. That's basically the value. Um, I get uh, nine billion bubbles. Uh, that's a million. That's a billion. So nine billion bubbles. We rounded. 10 billion bubbles. Okay, so in in one can of foam, uh, that's a, that's a quite a quite a quite a nice large number, um, and uh, it's difficult to imagine how much is uh, 10 billion now. So I did uh, some other math, and if one bubble were to burst every second, okay, let's say that one bubble were to burst every second, uh, then it would take the foam three, 200 more than 270 years to completely disappear. Okay, it's gonna take 270 years. Well, in 270 years, uh, basically, that's the number of seconds uh, that that you have. Well, that that that's it. Okay, I think uh, we have enough uh, done for today. Um, in any case, uh, I wish you uh, a nice day. Um, happy microbe hunting, and don't forget to like and subscribe. All the best. Bye bye.